welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share any of my videos. If you guys have any requests, please comment in the comments section below, or you can even email me. My email is in the, in the description below. Don't forget that I have been posting more regularly and just want you guys to check out my other videos. I have some virtual box tutorials, uh, an unboxing video, and th things like that. So go check it out. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick little fix for a failed to construct device USB dash EHCI instance number zero and then all these other codes. So if this pops up, so I'll just highlight it. So if this error pops up for you guys, then what you're going to want to do is go to your virtual box. So I'll just minimize this. Go to your virtual box. This will work for both Windows and Mac. So you're going to want to go to make sure the system that you want to start up and that error shows up for. Then here, let me make this a little bigger. So make sure that the system that you want to boot up, but it, that error comes up for, make sure that it's highlighted in blue, just like this. And then from here, we're going to go to the very top, and we're going to look for a machine. And then from machine, we're going to go three down and left click on settings. And then from here, Make sure that it's the correct name. So mine's Windows 10 underscore 1909, which is the one that I highlighted. So that's good. For Mac, you can find it in the port section, which is right here. And then you would go to USB. And then from USB, you can try to either put it to USB 1.1. Or you can completely disable it and then hit OK and then be done and for Windows so you do the same thing make sure that it's highlighted and then we would go to machine settings and for Windows I believe that there's no port section it just goes it, there's just a little icon that says USB which just makes it a lot easier for Windows users so you would go to the USB, so I'm just, just skip this step, the port step. Just go straight to USB, and then you'll have a little menu like this. So it'll be USB 2, USB 3, 1, 1. So you can either, like I said, do USB 1.1, or you can completely disable it, and that's it. And then hit OK again for Windows, and then you're done, and you should... Of course, test it to see if it works. I start it up. And there you go. You can see that it starts up without any errors. Thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. I'm How To Tech Tips. Keep teching on.